When last we traversed this dark nether realm. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Um, that sounds weird. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Okay. Oh. Oh, you idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Um. Die. Uh, this is... Okay, this is not a very auspicious start to our adventure here. And now. May, if there's not a heal thing soon, I'm going to have to use some healing items. I may want to just go ahead and do that. We'll use our, um... Our spider donut. Alright, so we're almost at full now. Leaves. Oh. Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? A little bit. There, there. I will heal you. Well, darn it, I wasted my healing thing. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Now I want to go back and see what was down here. <laughs> Didn't want to find you that quick. Wanted to, ooh, hello, frogget. Rivet, rivet, just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. Oh, she's nice. Shouldn't be intimidated. Ooh. It's like an Arabian city here. Hello. Found a toy knife. I mean, we're not going that route, but I guess I could use that. Point off, weapon attack three, made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. Well, let's, uh, can we equip it? You equip toy knife, nice. Did that put our, whatever it was, in, uh, yeah, stick? Is our stick worse? I mean, like I said, not that it matters. Yeah, no, zero attack. Yeah, its bark is much worse than this bot. Maybe we can sell it. Maybe we should just sell all our um, weapons and whatnot. We can keep the armors. That'll give us a little bit of defense, hopefully, against being hurt. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Yeah, too bad I wasted my monster, my spider donut. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Okay. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on Snell Pie for tonight. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Here, I have another surprise for you. Um, I'll be there in a second, Toriel. I'm just kind of snooping around your house. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of whatever year that we're in now. Or maybe the year before. Something like that. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Can't turn the light off. I'll go to the left here before I go down the stairs. Oh, isn't this a cute little living room? Can we sit in her, ch sit in her chair? Seems like the right size for Toriel. Yep. Or for us to curl up in. The fire isn't burning hot. Just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. Uh, no thank you. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped beneath the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. It's an okay name, I guess. Very descriptive. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. I see that. Can we read more? 
History book. A random page. Yeah, same thing again. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Yep. 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 King's lousy at names. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. But less useful? Toriel is very paranoid. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Can I have it? Okay. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. And how do I know it's brand name? I've only been here like an hour. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Ooh. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat though. That must be the butterscotch cinnamon pie. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Maybe she does. Or maybe she just cleaned it after she cooks on it every single time. Who knows? Oh, yeah, I wanted to go downstairs. I forgot. This is it. Oh, a room of your own. I hope you like it. Um, I guess. Thanks for the head rub. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. All right, well, let's explore over here first then. Ooh, we've got... Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Nice to know. Oh. Didn't realize it'd make me go to sleep. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Thanks. See what that does. Guessing it's a healing item. All HP restored. Okay, I guess. Cool. That's a really powerful healing item then. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. How many kids has she brought here? Are we in danger? Is she fattening us up to eat? I've had bad experiences with flowers, guys. Oh, is this her room? Just a regular old bucket of snails. I wasn't really at the bucket, I thought. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Uh, sure. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Ah, oh, horrible puns. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Poor Toriel. She's very sweet, but she has no talent. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Sounds like cattails. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> I'm not going to interact with the bed, afraid it'll make me sleep there again. Of course, that could be a cute interaction. Let's see. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Okay, maybe not then. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. All right. Well, let's go downstairs, shall we? I wonder where Toriel's at. Probably sitting in her room, reading a book or something by the fireplace. Oh, I think you should play upstairs instead. Well then, I want to go down here. It is dangerous to play here, but I want to play here. You're not my mom. You're not my real mom. Gosh, Toriel. It is drafty here. You will catch a cold. Gosh, let me do what I want. I want to go down here. It is dusty here. You will catch a cough. How many different lines does she have? Do we have to do this a certain number of times before she lets us? There is nothing to see here. Well, before you said it was dangerous. Now you said there's nothing down here. I think you're not being entirely honest with me, Toriel. 
Do you want to read a book? No, I want to explore down here. What are you hiding? Are the corpses of all the other children down here? Are you not a nice cow dragon? I do not like the game you are playing. Well, I don't like the game you are playing. I want to see what's down here. Why not go for a walk in the yard? Why not stop dragging me back out of this place? Doggone it, Toriel. Really now? Uh, one more time and then I'm going to go try something else. Okay, she's run out of things to say. Uh, I will find a way down there. Let's save first though, shall we? Yeah, yeah, cute tidy house, determinations, file saved. Hey, Toriel. Why can't I go down there? Up already, I see. Yeah, you've dra dragged me out of your lower floor several times already. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. I'm not going to be here that long, miss. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? Yeah, I want to disillusion you to the fact that I'm going to stay with you forever. I've got a family back up top I need to get back to. What is it? When can I go home? What? This... this is your home now. Sorry. No. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How about exit... how to exit the ruins? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? You are too into snails, lady, and I've got places to go. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Among most other things, they are terrible at being. Interesting. How to exit the ruins. I, I have to do something. Stay here. Where are you going? Are you going down to do something down here? Are you going to go kill a kid? To relieve your stress? You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. Like hell you are. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Uh, you be a good cow dragon and don't destroy the entrance to the ruin. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. You eat them? I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. While I sympathize with your better than assumed motive, it's not for you to decide. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, in red text, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Sort of, but... Go to your room. It's not my room, lady, and you're not my mom. I know I called you mom earlier. That was a big mistake. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. What are you going to do? Slap me around? Are you going to be abusive? You want to leave so badly? Huh. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Well, I fought my way here without you, didn't I? Oh. Guess I have to fight you. Toriel blocks the way. Um. Let's, uh, check. Attack 80, defense 80. Good God, she knows best for us. She thinks she does. Oh, no. Oh! Well, wow, very little space there. Toriel looks through you. Um. Talk? You 
couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh. So we're good here. We're good here. Toriel looks through you. Uh, Mercy? Okay. So do we actually have to fight her then? I don't want to kill her. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Um, flee? That is right. Go upstairs. Well, I'm going to go heal, but I'll be right back, okay? You just stay there and wait for me to beat up on you. Don't, don't tear the door down, okay? I'll be back in a minute. Silly cow dragon. She's not the boss of us. We do our own thing. We do what we want. She better just watch her back. We're going to beat her to a pulp. But we're going to not kill her because, you know, that's that's what we're doing. Not killing things. Already? What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Um, it'll take you letting me through the door. All right, I guess we'll fight. Oh. What? Okay, I wasn't ready for that. Oh. Okay, so I guess I have to stop that line. Okay, well, all right. So, darn it. Toriel looks through me. Okay, uh, fight. Good deal. She got a lot of hit points. Oh, good grief. Toriel is acting aloof. Well, I'm going to heal. Uh, we'll use uh, monster candy. Recovered 10 hit points. Good. Okay. Stay right here. Oh, Lord. Such a small, safe area. Okay. We'll fight. 24 damage. Oh, different, different pattern, different pattern. Oh, Toriel prepares a magical attack. Well, we're going to prepare a plastic knife attack. 27. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord, please don't kill us. We will use spider cider. Maxed out. Good. We need that. Oh, no. Acting aloof. We'll, we will smack her again. 24 damage. Can we... When can we spare you? When can we show you mercy, Toriel? Okay, so that didn't work. Oh, no, no. She is beating us to a pulp. Fight some more. 30 damage. Oh. Different safe spot this time. We're going to have to heal. Well, waste of the pie, I guess. If I was any better at this, I wouldn't have to do it. Oh, dancing flames, and I get hit again. All right. Uh, fight. 28. Have you had enough, Toriel? Shoot! Mercy? Looks through me. Uh, I don't have any healing items left. Oh, shh. Darn it. Do I need to talk to her now? Couldn't think of any conversation topics. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm about to die. At least she stops after hitting me once. Probably gonna have to try this again. Oh. Okay, this looks safe. Okay, mercy. Alright. Well, she seems to be not wanting to hit me now. Do we have to fight her again? 
How much damage do we have to do before you let us spare you? Well, that did a lot of damage. Maybe she's avoiding me now because she doesn't want to kill me. Maybe I didn't have to use all those healing items. Yeah, she's definitely trying not to hurt me. She doesn't want to kill me. Can we talk to you now? Tried to think of something to say again, but... Huh. Well... Darn it! Don't want to kill her. Erg. You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? My C-H-I-L-D. So I didn't want that to happen. How do I not kill her? Can I load the game? Maybe I have to close it out and open it back up. All right. Let's uh let's try this again. Don't know how I'm supposed to defeat her without killing her. If I can't figure it out, I guess I'll go and see if anybody else can tell me. All right, Toriel, let's try this again. Already? What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Well. I guess I talked to you the whole time while you beat me up. You thought about telling Toriel that you saw her die. Wow! So the game remembers what you did even when you don't save? Holy crap. That's different. But that's creepy. Can you show mercy without fighting or running away? Um, I hope so. Ah. Toriel looks through you. Can we give her these? Act. Talk. Can you show mercy without running away? Yes. Mercy? Spare. Oh. Oh, well. Mercy. Spare. Maybe I just have to show mercy over and over and over because she did two lines that time. Prepares a magical attack. Spare. Three lines. Okay, so this is the way to do it. I got you. Oh, Lord. You came different pattern that time. Spare. Oh, oh, leave me alone. Yeah, mercy. Spare. What are you doing? Well, I don't want to hurt you. Spare you. Attack or run away. No, I refuse. I refuse. You know what? I'm not playing this game with you. Screw you, Toriel. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that I can be strong without fighting or running away. All I have to do is just stand my ground. Fight me or leave. No, you leave. 
you told me to be nice to people, I'm being nice to you, but you're being awful to me, not letting me go home. Stop it. You stop it. This is up to you. You made this party, now you have to celebrate it. That didn't make much sense. Stop looking at me that way. Well, I mean, you can end this anytime you want. It's all up to you, Toriel, because I'm not going anywhere. Go away. I actually feel really bad for her. She's tried to save kids all these, however long she's been doing this, and they keep going through here and dying, but I'm not going to die. I'm going to make it. How many times do I need to show you mercy? Okay, so we're back to dot dot dots again. I think it's a shorter dot 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 thing though. I know you want to go home, but so is this it? But please go upstairs now. I can't. Don't you understand? I've got to get back to my family. I promise I will take good care of you here. I'm sure you will, but it's not the same. I know we do not have much, but it's not the point, Toriel. It's not about what we have. It's about who is my family that I've known my whole life. We can have a good life here. You can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. No. Ha ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Hey. Chin up. I'm going to make it. No, I understand. Good. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It's not really the point, Toriel. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Thank you. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, Please do not come back. I hope you understand. Will you heal me before I go? Please, I'm at 2 HP. I'd rather save my healing items. Thanks for the hug, too. Goodbye, my child. Um. Bye, Toriel. How's my health looking? Still at 2. Can I go back up and heal before I head out? I'm going to try. Save my healing stuffs, especially that butterscotch cinnamon pie. That thing will heal me to full no matter how big my hit points are. Of course, if I'm not getting any XP, I may not get any more levels. Alright, let's see what is beyond the ruins, shall we? Different colored floor, slightly different shade of purple. Now going closer to pink. And now kind of a palish, pinkish something. Oh, it's you. 